Hi, today I'm going to be talking about something which I've mentioned in quite a few other videos, which is taking the expectation of a random variable. So what do we mean by a variable being a random variable? Well, we mean that its value is subject to chance, which means that it doesn't actually have a predefined value, but we can probabilistically describe the likelihood of all the different values which that uh, variable could have. So an example of a random variable might be the value which is obtained from throwing a fair die. So with this sort of die, each side has a different number on it. And if it's a fair die, then we can sort of write down all of the different possibilities. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, six and for each of those values we can ascribe a probability so if it's a fair die each of them has a one in six chance of occurring so even though we cannot determine beforehand what value is going to be thrown on our fair die we can probabilistically describe which values our die is likely to show one of the things we might be interested in is what value of x, what value would we obtain on average? And that's what we mean by taking the expectation of a process or a variable x. We mean what value would we obtain on average? And the way in which we do that actually for this type of variable, this is a discrete random variable, we would sum together each of the probabilities of an event occurring times the value which x takes on on that event. So for the case of a fair die, that would be one over six times one, plus one over six times two, plus, and if I keep going, adding together all the way up to one over six times six, which if you actually sort of do this sum, it comes out at 3.5, which might be what you expected. It, it's, it's, it's sort of right in the middle of all of our different values the um, die can take. Note that it's not exactly one of the values it can take. Um, it's just merely if we were to average over repeat, if we were to throw the die repeatedly and we were to average those values which were obtained on the die, it would show what value we would obtain in that average. So this is the case of, for, of a discrete random variable. And the way in which we calculate the expectation is by taking a weighted sum of the probabilities. So we can also think about continuous random variables. So a continuous random variable is one for which there is an associated probability value of the variable taking any given value. So we could think about a probability distribution which looks something like this. And these are all the different values of x which our random variable could take. So maybe at the sort of the most likely value of x um, to occur would be, in this case, um, perhaps it would be 10. Yeah, that, that's just an example. And perhaps the probability of that particular value occurring might be uh, 0.1. Note that because this is a probability distribution, the area under this entire graph should add up to 1, because that's how we define probabilities. But we can think about what it means to take the expectation of a continuous random variable x. Well, it's just the continuous analog of our weighted sum, which means that we just take the probability, which is itself a function of x, and we multiply that by x, and we integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity, because that's sort of integrating for all possible values which x could take. And that will then tell us what value of x we would obtain on average. So the expectation tells us what value of x we would get on average if we were to, in the case of a die, throw it multiple times, in the case of a continuous variable, take a random sample of x from that same distribution a number of times. That is the value which we would obtain on average. And the good thing about the expectation operator is that for both the continuous and discrete cases, it is a linear function. And what does that mean? Well, it means that if I've got some random variable x, or another word for random is stochastic variable x, 
and that is basically given, and that is given by the sum of y and z, which are themselves um, stochastic variables. Then the expectation of x is equal to the expectation of y plus z. But because it's a linear operator, I can apply that to both y and z in turn. So that makes it a nice operator to deal with because it is relatively simple to apply to both sides of an equation.